Zach is my world. He's been my partner for so many years now. He is a hero dog. He absolutely epitomises search dogs in the UK. I'm Kev Saunders, a dog handler with Hampshire Search and Rescue Dogs. And this is Zach. He's my border collie. He's now retired, but he was my operational search dog for 11 years. Zach and I uh, joined forces back in 2008. Uh, he was a puppy and I decided I wanted to be involved in search and rescue. And he started his journey with me at about eight weeks old. The day he came home, we started playing with his toy for the first time. Over the course of the next year, he went through the processes to, to learn how to become a search dog. To start with, it was very much play orientated, um, you know, teaching him a, a special toy. And then over a course of months, he started to learn his trade, which is uh, as an air scent in uh, search dog. Air scent in means he's trained to look for any human scent and um, that's carried on the air in an environment. Zach took to it like a duck to water. You know, he, he, he naturally took to search. He enjoyed what he was doing and um, you know, it was very easy to train Zach. Search dogs in Hampshire and around the country are an added asset to find vulnerable missing people. Search callouts can come in day and night, uh, whatever the weather, 365 days a year. So we'll get called by the police that are using various uh, of their resources to search for, for missing people, um, but they need the specialist role of our search dogs. Our search dogs are part of a bigger picture, so you know all areas will be covered by a certain asset, but search dogs will cover a very large part of the search area very quickly. You know, they will cover two, three, four times as much area as a, a foot team of maybe three or four humans um, in, in a fraction of the time. And there's not many dogs in the country that are trained to do that as well as dogs like Zach. And Zach was renowned of covering areas really well. We've worked together on tireless hours um, through the day and night, through all sorts of weather conditions um, and brought home uh, people. Having a dog like Zach able to search for us is just a fantastic resource uh, that we really couldn't do without. Zach's got a fantastic sense of smell and I know that if I manage to task Kevin Zach to the area that, where the missing person is, that they will find him. Zach just loves searching, it's obvious. He's got a great nose, he finds it fun, he can cover large areas very quickly, he can search areas that foot teams can't. His devotion to duty over the years just reflects the amount of work that he and Kev have put into training every week. Um, he's just an amazing dog. I really think he deserves the PDSA Order of Merit. We've worked with him on numerous missing person searches over the years. One example was a winter's night a couple of years ago where we had an elderly man missing from his care home. I tasked Zach and Kev to some fields to the northeast of the care home and within a few minutes I received a welcome call from Kev uh, to say that Zach had found the man. Uh, he'd got, got himself stuck on some barbed wire. Uh, he was alive but really cold and so we treated him at the scene and then we stretched him back uh, to hand him over to the ambulance service. But you know, had Zach not found that man that night, the outcome really could have been very different for him. But I've known Zach since 2013. Watching him work has helped me massively in training my own dog as well. And so he's, he's been a fantastic asset to the team. Obviously the number of years he's been operational, the number of finds he's had and lives saved, you know, it's just uh, a massive, massive achievement. Zach is my world. He's been my partner for so many years now. He is a hero dog, absolutely epitomises search dogs in the UK through saving lives over the years. He very much deserves the PDSA Order of Merit. I'm so unbelievably proud to see him recognised in this way and to really be on a pedestal that he deserves to be on.